Top 7 Real Life Inspirations for Famous Animated Characters Mickey Mouse and Walt Disney? Is there a person alive today that doesn't know who they are? Unless they live somewhere secluded and don't speak a word of English, we really doubt it. However, we bet you didn't know that the inspiration for Mickey came from Walt Disney's own pet mouse. Walt decided to give him a pair of pants and gloves before setting the mouse off to build his billion dollar empire. Now, Mickey Mouse isn't on this list. But can you guess who inspired cartoon legends such as Popeye, the Joker and Snow White? Here is 7 countdown list we have today. Number 7. Snow White, Marge Belcher Champion Marge Belcher Champion may not have been where the idea of Snow White came from, but her appearance influenced the sweet and wholesome look that Snow is known for. In fact, Marge was a model the animators used to imitate when drawing the first Disney princess. She seemed to be the apple of Walt Disney's eye with her beautiful almond-shaped eyes, good manners and kind spirit, and all that, at only 14 years of age. Walt thought that little Marge was not only perfect for Snow White, but a few years later he had animators craft her again, but this time as the Blue Fairy in Pinocchio. Number 6. The Joker. Conrad Veidt. The Joker is one of the most iconic figures in comic book and movie history, but where did he come from? He's said to have been influenced by a movie character, Gwyn Lane from the late 1920s. The silent movie was called, The Man Who Laughed and was based on a book by the same name that centered round 1690. It's about a nobleman who offended King James II and was sentenced to death by Iron Maiden, a torture device that consisted of a spike-covered interior, whilst his son, Gwyn Lane, suffered the sins of his father in the form of surgical disfigurement. Dr. Hardquinone. Another influence for Joker's girlfriend, perhaps? Mutilates him by fixing a permanent smile on his face to laugh at his fool of a father forever. The permanent grin was the first influence for the Joker and soon after, the playing card was added. Et voila, the Joker was born. Number 5. Popeye the Sailor Man. Frank Rocky Fiegel. LZ Chrysler Segar, the creator of Popeye got his influence for the pipe-smoking spinach-chomping Sailor Man in the form of Frank Rocky Fiegel when he was just a boy. LZ Chrysler Segar found his inspiration for Popeye, olive oil and Bluto in residents of his hometown, Chester, Illinois. Frank Fiegel was a one-eyed sailor with incredible strength and a sturdy build, which earned him the nickname Rocky. Fiegel impressed Segar so much that the young cartoonist took to the funny pages with his Thimble Theatre comic strip on January 17, 1929. Long after his skit in the funny pages ended, Popeye was still alive and well appearing in his own cartoon show commercials and a movie that featured the legendary Robin Williams. Number 4. Tintin. Palhald. Another cartoon character that entered the hearts of children and grown-ups alike back in 1929, was a red-haired boy named Tintin and his white dog, Snowy. George is Remy, also known as Herge, the creator of Tintin, was a Belgian artist during this time and got his inspiration from Pal Hald, a truly remarkable boy of only 15. Hald had been the winner of a competition run by a Danish newspaper in 1928, where applicants were challenged to reenact Filiar's Fogg's journey from the 1873 novel Around the World in 80 Days by train and passenger liner. Tintin also became a firm favorite with his trips around the world and the sense of realism that Herge brought to the comic. Tintin even got his own 3D movie in 2011 directed by Steven Spielberg and produced by Peter Jackson. Not bad for a fictional teenage boy and his fox terrier. Number 3. The Little Mermaid. Alyssa Milano. You probably know Alyssa Milano as Little Samantha on Who's the Boss or as Phoebe from Charmed, but did you know that this bright-eyed, bushy-tailed girl was the inspiration for Ariel in The Little Mermaid? 
Don't worry, very few people do. While Sherry Stoner, a writer and producer for Disney back in the 1980s and 1990s, delivered some inspirational elements to Ariel. She was hardly the sole motivation. It was Alyssa's lively nature and beautiful big eyes that inspired the look and personality of the popular mermaid back in 1989. As for Ariel's flaming red hair, that was inspired by astronaut Sally Ride. Number 2. Jessica Rabbit. Vicky Dugan. The year was 1957. Vicky Dugan was the talk of the town, the girlfriend of Frank Sinatra and it girl of the social scene. She was a sex pot in her backless numbers that scored her the nickname The Back. Gangsters were often quoted saying things like, Vicky Dugan makes the best exits in town. She oozed self-confidence and sex appeal, making the women jealous and exciting the men of the 1950s and 1960s. Then in the 1988 film, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Jessica Rabbit, Roger's incredibly sexy wife was created with Dugan as the inspiration. She had long red hair and wore a dress slit right down her spine. She became a sensation and was one of the spiciest characters ever penned. Her famous quote explains it all, I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. Number 1. Elma Fudd. Robert Believe It or Not. Ripley. Believe It or Not, Elma I'm Hunting Wobbits Fudd formerly known as Egghead, was inspired by Robert Tripley. Famous for his strange egg-shaped head and speech impediment, Ripley inspired Warner Brothers when they created the bald rabbit hunting nemesis of Bugs Bunny in the late 1930s for their series of animated cartoons called Looney Tunes. Ripley even modeled as Fudd for an episode called Believe It or Else, where Fudd is seen sporting spats and a loud suit. Ripley's trademark outfit. Elma Fudd, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck and others were an absolute hit with the audience and so was Robert Ripley's show, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Ripley would feature people on his show that could do incredible things and then tell his audience stories that awed and amazed them. Unfortunately, Ripley's downfall was his love of alcohol and he would anger Murray Roth, the show's producer because he kept mashing up the scripts in his drunken stupor. Elmer Fudd, on the other hand, still exists on children's networks such as Boomerang today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the button below to subscribe so you can get notified when I put out new videos.